What's going on guys? It's Marcel from One Dapper Street. Welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about denim. I've got five different pairs of jeans for you from five different well-established denim companies and with those five jeans we're also going to be exploring five different outfit inspirations for you guys so let's get to it. Look number one, I'm wearing it right now and the jeans I'm wearing are from Paige. They're a medium blue distressed denim in a slim fit, which I think is really great. On my feet, I've got a pair of Converse that I picked up at Saks, and up top we've got a rag and bone Henley and a coach leather jacket to complete the look. Let's talk about the look as a whole. First, we got black and white, and then we're basing that off of the denim color. If you watch this channel, you've heard me say often that I consider denim blue, like that particular type of blue, as a neutral, not as much a color in the outfit. So this is a neutral base for me, and then we're just mixing in some achromatic pieces. Whether or not you're into ripped jeans or distressed jeans, a medium blue jean, you can also just imagine this without the holes, is definitely an essential to have in your closet. It's something you can wear on a daily basis, and that goes with pretty much anything and everything. Paige is a brand I've worn for years now and I honestly really like these jeans. I might get them just a tiny bit more tapered towards the bottom of the leg, just so they're a little bit more tapered. You guys know that's how I like them, but the fit, the comfort of these is incredible, so that's look number one for you guys. Getting a bit more sporty with look number two that I styled around these J brand jeans, a white skinny fit with ripped knees. Same thing applies as before. If you don't like rips, just imagine them without it. But I wanna be talking about white jeans. And honestly, it's like hard to get me to not wear white jeans in the summer. I know a lot of guys tend to stay away from it because they have a little bit of difficulty maybe styling it. Honestly, like subscribe to this channel if you're not already because hopefully I can give you some style inspiration. If you like my style, then you'll see me wear white jeans a whole lot. In this combination, I kept it really, really simple. We've got a pair of New Balance in light gray. These are 9.99s, And up top, I'm wearing an APC crew neck sweatshirt with a little bit of a graphic that's just not debossed. It's like, I feel like I should know what this is called. It's kind of like raised, raised. It's a raised print graphic crew neck sweatshirt from APC. So really chill look, really straightforward. White, gray, and gray. A little bit of white in the shoes. You guys know that I like incorporating the colors of one piece, in this case the shoes, in the whole outfit. So that's look number two. And honestly, like, please, it, it's March now. Spring is like around the corner if it's not there already, depending on where you are. So it's time to bust out the white jeans. It's time to make that move because I think they make for standout looks. Even something as simple as this looks just a little bit more elevated, a little bit more interesting. So embrace it this spring, summer, and then tag me on Instagram if you post any photos of yourself wearing the outfits. With the next outfit, we're going into different territory. For one, a lot more dressed up, but two in the territory of colored jeans. These are from Seven for All Mankind, and colored jeans have really started popping up like in a big way, I feel like a couple years ago. I'm sure they've been around much longer, but that's when I started taking note of the fact that I'm actually wearing denim, but in a color way. And I think what they allow you to do is just kind of wear pants more easily, like you would wear jeans, but with kind of a chino aesthetic. I feel like a chino is a bit more restricting in terms of how you can wear it, but having that color really gives you the opportunity to just play around with it more. So in this case, I'm wearing a pair of brown suede loafers from Tots, a brown leather belt to tie that back in. So a couple of dark brown details while the rest of the look is fairly monochromatic in a tan area. This suede jacket is also from Seven for All Mankind. Absolutely love this. And underneath I'm wearing a white and tan striped shirt from Eton. So overall a nice tailored look but definitely has a casual vibe. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I posted a little while ago a video on how to swap out a blazer or a suit jacket with something a bit more casual. In that video you'll see this jacket as well because I think it's an excellent choice for styling a look like that. But honestly, big recommendation, get a pair of colored jeans. Doesn't have to be tan, this is fairly straight, like a, a, a straight up replacement for a tan chino. You can go for Bordeaux, you can go for navy, something green. There's a lot that you can do. So figure out what color you think you're gonna be rocking on a daily basis, and then invest in a pair of jeans that are actually high quality, so you can wear them day in, day out, and not worry about them falling apart, no matter how many times you wash them, how often you wear them. And while we're on the topic of color jeans, let's move on to look number four with this pair of AG jeans in a burnt orange color. Does that sound about right? Somewhere in that area, up top, I'm wearing a John Elliott hoodie, which I absolutely love. It's got a nice little zip detail here on the side. And on my feet, a pair of Converse that I talked about in a Converse video recently, where I showed you a few alternatives of Converse that aren't the classic Chucks or even the 70s. So if you guys wanna check that out, that's on my channel as well. 
Link is up here. If you like any of the pieces that you see in today's video, this is actually the result of a collaboration I did with Sax on Instagram. So this video is not sponsored at all. I actually did this last year. I just thought these were cool looks and I wanted to show this to you guys but this is part of a collaboration. So if you wanna see those photos, go check them out on Instagram, at Marcel Flores. There's a bunch more outfit inspiration for you guys there as well. All the links are down below. Pretty much all of these should be available at Saks for you guys to shop. Before we move on, let's just round this look out really quick. We've got a nice balance between the tan color and then this is really just a nice pop. As simple as this outfit is, it just works really well because for one, these are very complementary colors, but two, it doesn't have to be a lot for you to look stylish. Sometimes it's just the right pieces, so don't think of fashion and style as like something that's in excess. You can keep it very simple and look really, really stylish. And last but not least, I've got one more recommendation for you when it comes to investing in a pair of good jeans for this spring and summer, and that's a pair of light wash blue jeans. These ones are from Joe's Jeans, and as you can see, I went for a little bit more of a relaxed fit. These are actually a slim fit, so I just sized up a little bit so I can wear them a bit more baggy and get kind of like a 90s vintage vibe going. Especially in combination with this really dope Ralph Lauren varsity jacket, I think it works really well. And how well do these Puma sneakers work with this jacket? I've wanted a pair of the RX trainers for a while now. I've seen them on a lot of my friends, like a lot of the German bloggers. I was like, damn, these look really good. So I finally ended up copping a pair and I thought it worked really well. Underneath, I'm just wearing a simple white t-shirt with a pocket detail from Seven for All Mankind as well. For a really, really chill look, this reminds me personally of the 90s. I like wearing this, I feel comfortable. These jeans feel really light, yet still have like a nice structure to them. So overall, just a nice, throwback kind of look that I think definitely works today. With that, we're wrapping up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know which of these five looks was your favorite, what you would swap out, improve, change to make it yours because that's all I'm here for, to offer you guys inspiration and I want you guys to make it really you. So leave comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching one more time and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye guys.